Welcome everyone, it's Fatai here and it's the first episode of How I Got Here, a show where I talk to my doctor friends about how they got into medicine, what life in medicine means to them and where they're headed next. My first guest, my very good friend Simran. What's up buddy? Hey guys, uh, my name is Simran Deep Singh and uh, how did I get here? Alright, huh. so... Um, the reason, one of the reasons why I, I thought this, well, why this means a lot to me is because I, I feel like, you know, there's a lot of inspiration in people's stories, mm -hmm. particularly stories of us, for example, yep. you know, there's such a convoluted, Absolutely. complex path into, into medicine as a profession. Yes. And it just really, really sometimes uh, uh, is eye-opening, you know, what people, how people actually get into the field of medicine. Dude, it's a great experience uh, learning new stories every day. I mean, this place is full of stories, right? Yes, it is. Everybody has sure. like a, such a diverse background. Most of the people are uh, have immigrated to this uh, beautiful country, country All right, for and sure. ended up in this residency somehow. Yeah. You get to know the background of everyone is just it's, amazing it's, it's, it's really amazing so I, I typically would like to start because for everyone your origin would be you know where you're from mm -hmm. your childhood and how you eventually ended up thinking about medicine as a profession in the first place yep. different different motivation for a lot of people but i'll start with you sure. where are you from originally oh uh, well i'm from india uh, i grew up in a small state in india called punjab it's like a northern state where uh, most of the sikhs live so all i'm right. a sikh by religion so that's all where right. i come from Sashri yeah. Sashri 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 all right all right <laughs> so um punjab what part of punjab by the way uh so i grew up in a small town tall a town called uh, hushyarpur uh, yes yes it's like uh, it's like on the border of one of the hilly regions what, what, what hilly region is that it's like uh, there's another uh, state called uh, Himachal Pradesh. Oh, which is all Shim is it Shimla? Yeah, yeah, Shimla is all uh, Shimla is, I think is the capital of Himachal Pradesh. Okay, okay. So it's like the foothill of the Himalayas, like the, the lowest foothills. So when it descends it's to the plains, that's where the Punjab starts and I actually grew up uh, right in the north part of the Punjab. Oh interesting. Yes. So um where you're from obviously in India yeah. uh, it, it seems as if you, you mentioned it that's uh, more predominantly city, yeah. uh, 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 population, community yeah. population. Yes, yes. Um, so what was it particularly about your childhood that pushed you into thinking about medicine. I know this for a lot of people it's so many yeah, different I stories. Happened in a very subtle, subtle way, you know. Like I don't even uh, remember when at the time when I decided to be a doctor. I think I was motivated by. I'm gonna be honest. I was motivated motivated by my family, uh, my by my grandmother and okay. my my mother. Uh, Actually, they wanted uh, to see me as a, a professional or a doctor because I was uh, good with the studies to begin with. Okay. So maybe they saw something in me and they're like, we should encourage him to. This be is the this doctor. Guy is gonna <laughs> bring our name to the. That's you know? good. That's good because I, oh, obviously, right? For many of the places that we come from you know ethnic communities there is sort of there's a glorification mm -hmm. of the profession yes, yes, absolutely. in itself yes. not because they want to glorify there's so many layers to yeah. it right so for example where I come from I'm from Nigeria by mm -hmm. the way you know and I'm sure it's the same thing in India and many other parts of the world where you know doctors are placed in you know at this particular level in the society yeah, not true. because for example they might make more money than mm -hmm. majority of the mm -hmm. society but the fact that the, the complexity of what doctors Doctors have done historically, meaning patients having problems, yeah. and then they come to this guy Absolutely. who says, "Do this, do this, yeah. do that," and then you know yes. they have solutions. I think there's a lot of there's a lot of that imprint on families to want mm -hmm. to feel like you know one of us is. Can't agree with you more. So I think uh, part of this has to do with uh, the scarcity of resources okay. and the availability of doctors. There are very few doctors, you know, mm -hmm. back in the, the de developing countries. Now things have changed now, but a few years ago, mm -hmm. I remember there was a couple of pediatricians who taking care of the whole community like the whole wow, town wow. and when you have uh, such a uh, few people and uh, it's it was st it's still con considered as a noble uh, you know profession no now doubt. back in those days money wasn't even important you know like they would take care of everybody regardless they would get a fee so no fees they would just come in and do their job so that you know i think that was uh, one of the factors that actually brought push this path but I, I don't want to digress but i think that what you're mentioning is is actually a good way to see it because nowadays we we we're in a obviously different world yeah, and absolutely. sometimes the motivation to be in this profession gets adulterated a little bit right by mm -hmm. so many other factors mm -hmm. that you know as, as human beings we, we really can't we, we, yeah. we, we yeah. really can't yeah. escape but when you think about mm -hmm. these times when you know for example what you're talking about now where there's one doctor in the population mm -hmm. in a very large population where not everybody in that population 
won't be able to afford his fees. Absolutely. Not everybody in that population will, you know, be able to pay for it. Well, basically yeah. the same thing, right? No and insurance then, back in the day. No yeah. insurance yeah. package. Yeah. No right. So you you basically at that point have to provide a service yeah. regardless. Pure, purely purely for the yeah. sake of good. I yeah. think it's it's something important that we start to remember yeah. now. Yeah. It might actually influence, yeah. you know, how we actually rethink yeah. and see this profession that we're in. I'm not saying nobody should be, you know, work for free, but yeah. it just adds a little bit more value to what we do. It I does. Guess. It, it it has gone to the background. Okay. I mean, if if we come to this country, you know, everybody is practical. But you know, if even if you carry those values in the background, I, I think that should, that should be a good sign. Interesting. It should, you, should, you should do that. Yeah. Interesting. So basically, that that's for what, what you. That's what uh, brought me. That's what. Okay. So me. you obviously, I'm guessing this might might have been high school, for example, yeah. and how. Yeah. Did yeah. you eventually because there's being practical again and being realistic a lot of us you know from high school for example wanted to be doctors yeah. but only a small fraction of people yes uh, right yeah, yeah. there's so many factors that contribute yeah. to that a lot of that is what you do mm -hmm. right your effort into actually pursuing that dream but there's financial factors there's exposure mm -hmm. there's you know lack of uh, resources there's so many other factors so the decisions that you make exactly you know, so how did you feel like how were you able to uh, to navigate these factors to eventually for example end up in medical school in the first yeah. place yeah I mean I think it's just uh, consistency and determination all right you know you really really have to uh, know what you want to do okay that's it once so uh, I remember this uh, my one of my friend's mother mm. she told me one thing that I I can never forget and mm. I it's very simple she said if you have decided absolutely decided what you want to do 50% mm. of the job is done wow that's, for you. that's, 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 so that's it that's I mean remarkable. once you decide so that's it I, I decided what I wanted to be I applied for the medical school for the first time I did not make it all right it's very it's very competitive that's another lesson to learn. Yes, I was uh, disheartened. Uh, looked at diff different options. Someone offered me to do a, a, a nursing uh, a bachelor in uh, New Zealand. Okay. Uh, still, it's a very good profession. But yeah. then I decided, no, man, I'm going to give it another shot. It, second time I applied for medical school, made it. <laughs> <Yeah>. Congratulations, <laughs> man. Or at least you're here now. <laughs> right, so it, it, it seems as if many of our stories somehow overlap. have similarities. They yeah. overlap. There's so big, many big elements of the stories that are very similar. Some people, for some people, it's different. Because, yeah. You know, I, I probably won't say I decided for sure that this is what I wanted to do, mm -hmm. but I just had that passion to say, you know, man, particularly for me was, yeah. I know I'll, I'll say this on many epi mm -hmm. other episodes of the show, but particularly for me was, you know, seeing my father do what he did because mm -hmm. of the love I had for him, it was yeah. just like, I had to be this man, right? Yeah. I had to be this guy who, you know, went into a room, did somebody t something to somebody's eyes and, you know, they woke up in the next morning oh, just, uh, able to right. see, right? So that yeah. really, really, yeah. you know, yeah. impacted me and partly because of the love as well so I always yearned towards medicine but like you said you applied a, one year you weren't able to get in the same goes for a lot of people mm -hmm. I spent actually I spent probably about 10 years after after what you'd call high school in this country before eventually yeah. getting to medical school I'm being that's, honest but it, this, these, are the these are the stories these are the stories I personally yeah. want to be able to tell yeah. you know to to really and hear from other people to first of all inspire people out there to, to, to understand understand what it actually takes to yeah. get into this you know profession but to also to be able to appreciate for those that are in the profession mm -hmm. to appreciate how what they've been able to achieve yeah. right yes, so you, you you said okay you know for you you decided put in the work you applied first year you weren't able to get in you got in second year what was the experience like because i feel like you know sometimes we, we assume that the moment we get into medical school yeah, for example man, every right. you know the sky is going to turn into rainbow colors and everything was going to be perfect yeah, yeah but obviously that's exactly. that's the beginning of your work that's the beginning of your troubles really yeah, so a, how's the experience exactly like? same for everybody walked into medical school thinking all my problems is just vanished away <laughs> life is gonna be a bed of roses I'm yeah. a freaking doctor that's it <laughs> that's I made it right. oh man I was so wrong I was so for sure, wrong for sure. yeah, I all was right. so wrong and uh, it, was, it wasn't it was easy yeah. you know I can then uh, what are you gonna do next soon you hit that point what are you gonna do next what are you gonna do yeah. next what are you next? gonna do next right. you gonna do uh, oh, MD is important you're gonna do residency yeah. or maybe a fellowship it's just like a, you step in a River and then you step in a pond and then it's you like step in just a kept freaking city. <laughs> it keeps like, getting, it's getting, bigger, getting right? bigger and bigger. It keeps getting bigger. So obviously you go into medical school, you had to decide where you wanted to take a profession, right? For a lot of us coming into this country, you know, yeah. we, we not many people thought from the day they got into medical school that they were going to end up here. Mm -hmm. But you always wanted to make the best of your profession. Sometimes yeah, it takes you traveling.
traveling and going yes. other places, right? So how did you make that decision to say, okay, you know what, I'm he I'm heading for the United States, and you know, this yeah. is how I'm going to do it. I yeah, I was uh, I just uh, so you weigh your options, right? Yeah, yeah. So the hard work, I I I realized by the end of the medical school that I have like really hard like hard work is cut out for me. Okay, you know? and then you have your options. You want to do stay in India, do go for MD, which is like a so limited spots. I would say for every hundred medicine graduates, there yeah. are five or six uh, meaningful clinical spots available. Okay. Uh, so it was like, do I want to do that? Do I want to stay in India? Or do I want to go to the United States? And I kept hearing stories. And there were a couple of seniors that actually inspired me. Right. One senior, he did some rotations in the United States. And he came back to, right. my, to, so my, to work to, in to, India? To, to medical school. So he was my senior. He came to the States. He gave his CS exam. Did oh, some okay, so he came back. He okay. came back. And then he was telling all these stories, man. Evidence-based medicine. I've never heard of it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, all, all these research and uh, uh, how great the residency is. Yeah. And, uh, you know, like the medicine is completely different in the United States. Yeah. He just fascinated me. I was like, exactly. That's exactly what I want to so, do. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my chance. Yeah, all right. So obviously you made the decision that you're going to go into, you're going to the States, essentially. Yeah. You knew the exams you had to write, you know, USMLE. So, so how, how about you though? How did you okay, so for me, I went to medical school in the Caribbean. The majority of the people who were in school as I was mm. were heading this direction, yeah. right? But again, it had to. It took it took many years being in my home country trying to get into medicine, you know, without being able to get into medicine, traveling to other parts of the world yeah. to do other things, but eventually ending up in the Caribbean. But yeah. when I got there, it was like now it's about making the best. You've taken all this time for you to get to where you're where you are now now it's time to make the best of it right so i guess i had to you know yeah. buckle up and do what i had to do decided you know i wanted to come here and no, thankfully we're here right yeah. so now you're here you're exposed to uh, uh to the reality of practicing medicine in this country it doesn't come without its challenges no. right it doesn't come without its downsides everything mm -hmm. has you know advantages and disadvantages but now you're still thinking of making the best so how are you positioning yourself now to be able to you know make the best and what are some of your interests Oh man, yeah. So uh, you know, things have changed over the past. When I was in uh, medical school, uh, the, the medicine wasn't like the most important thing in my life. All right. But the, the deeper I get into residency, the more I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Brilliant. Second year has been amazing. Now. All right. Yeah. It's like so every day I just step into the hospital, I know I am gonna get something. I'm gonna see something new and 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 learn something new. And this place doesn't disappoint you. And you don't have you to know? wake up and cry. Say, oh my God, I have to go to work today. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 actually, strange. St st strange yeah. Actually, that I don't have that feeling. Man. Well, it's right, gonna be know, like it's, it's, it's like more it's, excitement. Yeah, it's, it's different yeah. for everyone. Obviously, different yeah. uh, scenarios. So, yeah. you know, I, mostly I'm, most of the years. All right, so I, I, I think we've been able to touch up on uh, important points yeah. and how you got here. Yeah, yeah. This is our first episode of uh, uh, how I got here. Yes, my good friend um, Severin. Thank you. It was a pleasure, my friend. Pleasure. My pleasure is all. All right, man. then all we'll right. see you on the next episode. Bye. 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 Bye.